mode. Dream Weaver actually lets you drag and drop to create table cells almost exactly where you want them on the page. Now I say almost used to designing for print, you'll never be 100% happy with web design. You just don't get the precise control you might be used to. But with drag and drop tables in layout mode, you can come pretty close. So let me show you how this works. First, I'm going to come up to the insert panel. I'm going to switch over to layout. Notice here that standard is selected. That's what we've been working in as we created the table in the first part of this exercise. Now I'm going to switch over to layout. And you see this little layout table icon up here. That is your visual cue that you're in layout mode. And even if you switch to a different insert panel, you'll still see that layout mode to indicate where you are in the program. Start by opening the weeds file. I created weeds.html so we'd have a different page to work on as we do this design. This is the design we're going to create this time. It's got three columns. So you have a column of text down the middle, image on the left, some navigation on the right. And in this website, I would say the front page has its own unique design. And then within the internal pages, you'd probably want to repeat this design on all of the internal story pages. We're just going to create this one so that you can see how layout mode works. So again, I've created a blank page for you to work with. So double click to open the layout table HTML page. And you see we're still in layout mode. Now before I start drawing the table, I'm going to show you one other very cool Dreamweaver feature. And this is something unique to Dreamweaver. I've never seen this in another web design program. It's called the tracer image. And what it does is it lets you insert an image behind your page so you can recreate the page design on top of it. Now the tracer image won't actually show up in a browser. It'll never be displayed. But let me show you how this works. I think it'll start to make more sense. We're going to choose Modify Page Properties. The tracing image is in the Page Properties dialog. So we want the tracing image category. Now I'm going to browse for my tracer image just like I would browse for any other image. I've called it tracer image, but you can name a tracer image anything you want. Click to select it and choose. You can change the transparency. I'm just going to leave it to 100% so you can see it well. It looks like a fully designed page, but what it really is is a page designed in Photoshop, which is how many people develop websites. First, they create the design in Photoshop or another image editor, get it exactly the way they want it, and then they slice it into pieces and recreate it in a program like Dreamweaver. That's where the tracing image comes from, is knowing that that's the routine of many web designers. So let's assume you have a design that you created in Photoshop. You've got one graphic of that. faster downloading page if you optimize each of the images separately and use the text as text, not as an image. So this image is just a placeholder just so that we can design on top of it and know what we want to create. As we're working in layout mode, notice that we have layout table and draw layout cell. The first thing I want to do is click the table icon so I can draw the table, then I'll put cells within that table. So click to select, and then come down here to the edge, click draw to create a table. And you, you can extend down the page further than you think you'll need, and I encourage you to do that. Notice as we scroll down, you see the bottom of my tracer image. That's OK. I'm just using the tracer image to position things on the page. It's really a blank page. So I have a table in place. Next, I'm going to start drawing cells. And I want to put the cells where I want the different contents within my table. So having the tracer image makes it easier to see where I want them. I want a cell that I can put that banner in. And then I'm going to want a cell for this photograph right about there. Notice that as I create these cells, Dreamweaver automatically creates table cells around them. And that's really the magic of the layout mode in 